Everybody just calm down. Count of three, we're all going to put down our guns. I have crossbows. Hey everyone, I'm Trace, and welcome to Side Eye Gaming. Today I want to talk about the highly anticipated Resident Evil 3 Remake. Now if you follow me on Twitch, then you know how much I love playing Resident Evil. So you can imagine how excited I was to see Resident Evil 3 getting the same reimagining like its predecessor. However, with any remake comes concerns over how the story will be adapted into today's gaming market. Will it stand up to the original while adding new content that keeps old and new players invested into the game? For me, I believe Resident Evil 3 is going to do just that, and then some. Let me explain. First of all, before I get into this, I want to talk about nostalgia. Now it's easy for us to say that games from our childhood or past are amazing and the best games around. We spent countless hours on our classics, knowing each turn and puzzle while treading through the game like a beast. But let's take out the nostalgia of our favorite games and instead just look at the games as if we were back in the past. These games don't need to be nostalgic to be good games. It's their innovation and stories that keep us playing in our seats for hours, eating Pete's Pockets while our dogs are napping right next to us. Low key, that dog's won that Pete's Pocket. I know what you're up to. Games are classics for their ability to grab us during their initial release. So when we hear Remake, the excitement hits you pretty hard, followed up by that feeling of, how can I put this? Really? It wasn't me! I'm not going down for this! The idea that games could be potentially ruined by a bad reimagining or remake is more than just insult to injury. It's a devaluating our memories and feelings about the games from long past that we hold on to dearly. This can include continuations to story plots or character developments in games. Let's take a look at a good reimagining continuation. Let's dive into one of the best games ever created, Ocarina of Time. This game had everything when it was released back in 1998. The game broke barriers across many different spheres including puzzles, stories, and even added horse riding mechanics that were hard to achieve long before. When it was re-released back to the 3DS, critics praised the game with high scores. The 3DS used updated graphics while having minimal change to the game itself. Even though Gandor's blood was green and that was kind of weird, we'll just look past that. <laughs> Wait, what? Kool-Aid blood having motherfucker. Overall, the game was well received by both old and new fans. This game, as you all know, has created a lot of different games in different timelines, leading to my next point, continuations. When Breath of the Wild finally came out, it was considered one of Nintendo's best games. One of the most important additions Breath of the Wild did for the series was referencing all previous timelines while separating itself as its own body of work. Breath of the Wild combined all timelines, allowing Nintendo to start with a clean slate for new work with not as many loose ends or questions the game devs or gamers would have. This is important because Breath of the Wild stays true to itself as an awesome game while respecting its predecessors. The game is not perfect, but for Nintendo to take a risk to minimize the timeline debate is really cool and appreciated. This leads me back to Resident Evil 3. Now we know that Resident Evil 3 is a full remake, meaning that the events that take place in this game will replace the events in the original game for future games to reference unless Capcom changes its mind. Fans have every reason to be protective over this beloved game, but I believe we are going to be very happy with what they give us, and here's why. Let's go back to 2018 when Resident Evil 2 Remake was released. The game looked amazing and had a ton of hype behind it, but until it was released, no one could say whether or not it was going to be a good game, and if it would hold up to the original. 
Fans will be pleasantly surprised by how well the game was reimagined for the modern gamer with updated controls, graphics, and new puzzles. The game did have its downs, and it's not perfect, but it was still an incredible joy to play. When playing Resident Evil 2 Remake, you can see the devs wanted to honor the game the right way and not offend its fans. Now fast forward to October 2019, almost a year after Resident Evil 2 Remake was released, an announcement for Resident Evil 3 Remake would come out. To many fans, this was an incredible surprise. I literally screamed in my car while eating a burrito. <laughs> for some, they thought the game was coming out too early and that it would be a short game. However, I believe the game was a part of an umbrella project. Not that kind. Well, maybe. I theorize that Resident Evil 2 and 3 were part of a larger project that Capcom was working on side by side. I think that depending on how well Resident Evil 2 would be received by fans would then steer the reins for how Resident Evil 3 Remake would be reimagined. Once announced, the devs had interviews talking about how the game's pretty much done besides some small details. As far as the game being too short, I believe it will either be about the same length as Resident Evil 2 or longer. Though it appears they have cut out the multiple endings, it may mean that the RE team is trying to clean up the story by going back to some of the best entries in the series and tweaking them in preparation for future projects, such as Resident Evil 8. Wow. When Resident Evil 7 came out, we saw that Capcom wanted to take a new approach to the series by changing to first person and pushing the more psychological horror aspect through scenes and characters. After which, Resident Evil 2 Remake would soon follow up, continuing the use of the RE engine and broadening the horror the games are truly known for. Given Capcom's record lately, I believe Resident Evil 3 Remake is going to be their last entry for the PS4 and that Resident Evil 8 will be on the unannounced next-gen consoles. Resident Evil 3 Remake will be their last hurrah for this gen, and I believe they are putting everything they got into it. Combining what they learned from the last two games in the series with all the lore and iconic characters getting revamped for a new generation to become nostalgic over. So don't fear if Resident Evil 3 Remake changes the recipe a little. I think Capcom is putting a lot into this and wants to make us all love and scared of this game. Our love and nostalgia will never go away from our classic games, nor will the game's reputation take a hit from a remake. My advice is to sit back and enjoy the horror as we unfold how Raccoon City became a biohazard scene and why Jill Valentine is not to be taken lightly.